What's good in the hood, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, beautiful people. What's good? I hope everybody's doing good. Today, we actually have a serious, serious video. As you can see from the title, today, we're going to be talking about Islam and music. It's a very popular topic in the Islamic world nowadays. But before we start this important topic, make sure you guys go subscribe, hit the like button, and comment below what other topics you want me to, to discuss about. Comment below. Leave in the comments. Anyways, let's Let's get started. Music and Islam is such a big, big, big topic. I'm really excited to talk about this because it's something that almost everybody struggles with. Music nowadays is everywhere. You go to the supermarket, you'll hear music. Grocery shopping, music. Mall, music. On your phone, TikTok, music. Instagram, music. Everywhere you go, you're gonna be hearing music. It's literally almost impossible to avoid. Oh, is music haram? Is music not haram? Blah, blah, blah. First of all, let's get one thing clear. The music of today is 100% 100% haram, haram, not permissible. No scholar will ever tell you that the music you hear now is permissible. All the Drakes, the Stormzy's, the, the, the Futures, Little Dirk, all this is not permissible, okay? Swearing, inciting violence, all of this is 100% not permissible. No scholar will, will ever tell you it's permissible. And, and the majority of scholars actually say music in general, whether it, it encourages haram or not, is not permissible. There is a minority opinion that, that say it is. Like for example, Imam al-Ghazali says music is permissible. But of course, the music that, like, not the music of today, okay? That no scholar will ever tell you that's permissible. Now, now, let's talk about the real effects of music. Why I think nobody should ever listen to music. Okay, so as you guys know, music is something everyone struggles with. It's very hard to avoid it. And obviously, when I'm talking about music, I'm mostly referring to the music of today. I'm talking about music where, you know, it's like rapping and, and whatever, even if, it's not, even if it's not rapping, just music like of today, you know what I mean? Why I think it is 100% bad for you and should be avoided is first of all, first of all, it takes you away from the remembrance of Allah. We are on this earth to worship Allah. We are, we try to do everything for the sake of Allah. Everything like go to school for the sake of Allah, go to the gym for the sake of Allah. You want to, like your life wants to revolve around Islam, around Allah. Music does the complete opposite. When you listen to music, you are not reminded of Allah. Actually, you are encouraged to do haram. When you listen, look, I've struggled with music, okay? I've struggled with music, I'm gonna be honest. I shouldn't be exposing my sins, but I do feel it's gonna be for a beneficial cause. Whenever I would be listening to music, it would kind of like, I, I would feel like it would just corrupt my heart. I would feel like swearing would become normal. You know, like like when you, when you listen to music, you're just hearing swearing so often that like, it becomes normal. It encourages, it like, I, I don't know why, but music kind of gives you an ego. When you listen to like the aggressive songs, it kind of gives you an ego, like, like you want to act tough, you want to act cool. It, it does, it literally not only takes you away from the remembrance of Allah, but music encourages haram. That is 100% one of the biggest reasons why I think you, people should stay away from music. Even if it doesn't encourage you to haram, it still takes you away from the remembrance of Allah. Because let's say you're driving. Realistically, you're either going to be listening to music, or you can be replacing your music with nasheed and Quran. Now imagine every time you drove, instead of putting music, you put Quran. The same lyrics you memorize for music, you would memorize the same thing for Quran. So many people memorize so many songs because they just listen to it. Or, like nobody is, is reading a paper uh, of a lyric to memorize the songs. No, they just listen to it so often that they end up memorizing it. You can do the same thing with the Quran, play in your car, go drive, you know, listen to it and you'll, you'll end up memorizing verses without even having to, to revise. Like we see it with music all the time. So you can do the same thing with Quran. And I also want to bring up this verse. I should have brought it in the beginning, but I want to bring up this verse in Surah Al-Luqman, verse number six. A'udhu billahi min ash-tawna rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa minan nasi man yashtari lahu al-hadith liyudillu an liyudillu an sabilillahi bi ghayri ilmin wa yattakhithaha huzuan ulaika lahum athabun so this verse translates to And of mankind is he who purchases idle talk to, to mislead men from the path of Allah And Ibn Abbas, one of the most famous scholars One of the scholars that was known for his Quran For his love for the Quran For his, for his comprehension of the Quran Ibn Abbas said that this verse here And of mankind is he who purchases idle talk To mislead men from the path of Allah Refers to music and singing that's Ibn Abbas said that this verse refers to music and singing. So Islamically, 
Islamically, many, like the biggest scholars will tell you music is haram, companions, the Prophet وسلم, there is a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that says, amongst my, un, amongst my ummah, there will certainly be people who permit zina, silk, alcohol, and musical instruments. And this is a, a hadith in Bukhari. This is a sahih hadith. If music was not haram, why would the Prophet وسلم, com, like not compare, but why would he put musical instruments in the same sentence as zina, as alcohol? as wearing silk, as those things are clearly 100% haram. Why would the Prophet ﷺ put musical instruments in that same category? You know what I mean? Like clearly, like, clearly something is up. And like I told you, music will literally destroy your life, man, subhanAllah. Although you might not know it, music is the definition of step by step, just slowly going down, slowly going down, slowly going down. Music, I'm not gonna lie, music might make you forget your prayers. Because let's say like you're driving, you're listening to music, you're vibing, you're not thinking about Islam, you're not thinking about your Salah, you're not thinking about those stuff. So music is, is more than just music. Like mu the, the effect that music has is not just what you're listening to, it's what you're listening to, how it affects your life, you know what I mean? So trust me, just if you struggle with music, try for at least a week. Replace your mu music with Nasheed and Quran just for a week, you know what I mean? Just for a week and see how much change your life goes through. Imagine, for example, imagine you're driving or like whatever you're doing. You're listening to Nasheed and Quran and you're hearing Allah, you're hearing the Prophet's name, this is that. It just automatically gonna remind you to pray, you know what I mean? Because it's subconsciously you're thinking about Islam. Subconsciously you're thinking about Allah. Subconsciously you're thinking about the Prophet Wasallam. So it will encourage you to, to become a better Muslim. Like stopping music will definitely improve your life so much, man. And like I said, the music of today is filled with filth, disgusting stuff, disgusting, bro, drugs, girls, treat girls like, like it's just, subhanAllah, it's extremely disgusting. Nobody should be listening to, to that stuff every day. What you listen is, is the type of person you will become. Whether you want to admit it or not, what you listen, you will definitely adopt some stuff from it. Maybe not everything, but you will definitely adopt some stuff from it. So my advice to everyone here, what Islam says about music is stay away from music. Music is not permissible. Music will destroy your life. Music will bring you nothing good. Stopping music will bring you so much goodness. Just try it. I've went through it and I've seen major changes in my life. When I stop music, SubhanAllah. Major changes in my life, Alhamdulillah. I mean, may Allah SWT make it easy on all of you. I hope that if you're, whoever's watching this video and struggling with music, may Allah SWT make it easy on you. May Allah SWT make you successful. May Allah SWT reward you. The Prophet Wasallam says, if you leave something for the sake of Allah, Allah will reward you with something better. So leave music for the sake of Allah. I know some of you might, might love music. Some of you might be think it's impossible to, heart music, to, to stop music, but do it for the sake of Allah. Your reward is with Allah. We are here to worship Allah. So do this for the sake of Allah. May Allah SWT reward all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like these serious talks, let me know in the comments what other topics that we talk about. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in my next video real soon. Inshallah. Peace out.